Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the HCPCS level 2 code quarterly updates for January 2024 and these quotes will be effective from 1st Jan 2024. Now coming to the changes that are effective from 1st Jan 2024 are a total of 243 new quotes have been added and 74 existing quotes have been discontinued and many quotes were revised. Now let us discuss about the newly added quotes. 75A quotes which are for transportation services, medical and surgical supplies and administrative services have been added. A great number of these new quotes are for gradient compression materials. 21C quotes have been added which are for the outpatient services. 15E quotes have been added which are for durable medical equipment DME. 13G quotes have been added which are used to report professional procedures to Medicare and community and health principal illness navigation service codes which are nothing but G0192, G0, G0024 win the award for the longest descriptors ever and these are the new codes that will allow the providers to report time spent on social determinants of health STOH data collection 33J codes have been added which are for the non-oral administered drugs 3L codes which are for orthopedic procedures and services and 160M codes for reporting medical services and 23Q codes which are temporary codes for a range of services and suppliers. These are the list of all the new codes that have been added. As we have discussed earlier, 74 existing codes have been discontinued. They are nothing but C, they come under the category C, G, K, M and S which are nothing but temporary national codes. Now coming to the changes to existing codes, five codes with coverage and long descriptor changes have been revised. They are nothing but A6535, A6538, A6541 and A6549. Seven A codes with coverage changes, 51 A, G, M, Q and T codes with long descriptor changes, 126 A, C, G, J and Q codes with payment changes, four codes with four short descriptor changes which are nothing but C9757 which deals with spine device implant surgery, G0176 which deals with outpatient prospective payment system or partial hospitalization program and intensive outpatient program and also activity therapy. The next code is G0177 which deals with outpatient prospective payment system or partial hospitalization program or intensive outpatient program training and education. The next code is Q2052 which deals with home intravenous immunoglobulin services which is nothing but IV, IVG services and supplies. These are the four codes with short descriptor changes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.